Hi guys, Kale here again. I'm behind the camera today, but I'm going to be opening up August Firefly Cargo Crate. Um, this one's supposed to be Zoe. And on the box, um, you see they put the location sticker exported from Hera. Um, so going to be Hera slash Zoe themed, I'm thinking. Um, the box came a little bit beat up, as you can see. can put my finger right in that hole. Um, but just was able to pop this sticker off and uh, let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, and so in every box they've been including these um, Little Damn Heroes. Um, it has Zoe Washburn in there. Let's go ahead and open up, see what we've got. And um, open up the box, you get the nice foam packaging, making sure that she stays safe. Um, if you're looking at the packaging, this is obviously what she's going to look like from behind, side, and front-ish side thing. Um, anyway, let's see. And it's good, I guess, that they packaged these so well um, that they don't get hurt, but it makes kind of a pain to open back up. Alright, there she goes. She's got that kind of look over the glasses look where she's just looking right out the top of her eyes, just underneath her brows. Um, a little disappointed with that eye right there. don't know if you can see that very well. Um, but it looks like that one is just a little bit off of where it's supposed to be painted. Um, but overall, did a nice dry brush on her hair. Has the nice brown leather clothing. Very subdued like she is, but it's got her gun. Here's her gun. All right. Let's put that to the side. We got another shirt this month. Um... All right, and it's a picture of someone, I'm guessing probably Hera, or some other sort of goddess with some uh, lightning staff there. Um, the word wording is in Chinese. I'll try to uh, translate it and put it in the um, description down below. But overall, not a bad shirt, nice and black. Um, it's, again, in that same quality, nice shirt that... Um, not too soft, not too stiff, um, good weight to it that Loot Crate's been doing lately. So very happy with that too. Alright. And this is the pin for the month. It says, Big Damn Hero, Sir. Um, it's in response to when Mal asks, so what does that make us? But this is a limited edition challenge coin. I'm not sure what a challenge coin is. Um, I think it's probably like those military coins you get. Um, I've got a few here and there. But it looks like it's got the um, Never Forget Serenity Valley with the brown coat flag on it. And then on the other side, it's got a picture of the Firefly with Keep Flying written on it. All right. All right. Kind of reminiscent of the coin we got last month with, or two months ago with Jane. Overall, nice hefty coin. Nice and thick. If you're still playing Pogs, you know, 20 years later, um, make an awesome slammer, but overall not a bad little coin there. It's definitely a collector piece, definitely worth having out. So go ahead and put that to the side. We got another Cubits figure. Um, last time we've got um, Kylie in Jane's box, and we had gotten Jane in Kylie's box, so I'm not sure... I don't, if they've got a way to tell which ones you're getting, I'm really hoping we don't duplicate any of these because I have never seen them in the store, so I really just want to make sure we get one of everyone. But it is Wash. It's her husband um, in the show. And... But, uh, yeah, he's the fun pilot guy. He's the one everyone knows from the dinosaur scene. and uh, He's the leaf on the wind. I think next month is actually going to be his box... Or next box is going to be his box, so hopefully they'll do him right too. Because I think he's a lot of people's favorite character in the in the show. All right, and this looks to be a journal, a very well made journal from the QMX people. It's got the Firefly there, or the Serenity Firefly class ship. Um, nice leather binding. Looks like the pages are tied in with a leather, leather strap. Ugh, I'm not sure why I'm so bad with the packaging this time around, but 
nice sort of parchment paper look to it. Um, bookmark if you want to use it that way or just a way to tie in more pages. Or just, I uh, I guess it's probably more for show. <laughs> but overall, a nice soft um, craft leather on that. Um, I think that's really good quality. I think if you had to, if you were looking for a leather journal in the store, they'd probably cost you at least 20 bucks. So, um, but it looks like this is Zoe's, uh, I guess it's a uh, certificate of service for the brown coats. Corporal Zoe. I'm not sure how you say her last name. I don't think they ever used it in the in the show. I could be completely spacing. It has been off the air for quite a while, and I haven't... It's not one that I watch, like, every week or whatever, but it was a good show and worth watching, but this is a kind of a cool, like, pre-show. It's like a, a prequel sort of item uh, for Zoe there. All right, last couple of things in the box, though. Um, we've got the magazine and the bumper sticker or the destination sticker, luggage, whatever you want to call it. Um, this, the signal, which is again a reference to the show. It's got some shiny bits in there, people showing off their stuff from last month. Kind of like that guy dressed up the dog like Jane. Eh, looks a little bit like me, but um, less red beard and probably more hair under there. <laughs> but overall, pretty good quality stuff. Uh, the back guy actually looks a little bit like my brother Brent, if you wanted to get crazy, but... Yeah, overall, good, um, good box. I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, I read one or two of the articles in, in a couple of the other magazines. I made the Mudder's Milk from the Jane one. Um, actually turned out pretty good. Um, overall, I'm fairly happy with, again, what they've been putting in here. Um, I'm assuming, without having to go ahead and do the translation, but I still will, that the shirt probably says stand firm in Chinese, but there you go. All right, so that is everything. Thank you again for watching so much, and you guys have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and like.